Greetings for the Eccentric Man, and today we've got an update on our Canadians in Sicily project. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by those nice people at Lost Ark Games in Stevenage. Check them out for all your gaming needs. So, first up is the Piat team and the Two Inch Mortar team. Uh, if you remember, I've been using parts from various boxes. There's the late British and Canadian box and the 8th Army box. So you can see these ones have got a mixture of the uh, shorts and the long sleeves from the Canadians. Well, the shorts from the 8th Army and the long sleeves from the Canadians. Let's have a little look. Spin it around. The basic material is from Geek gaming and it's their Mediterranean. Try to do a variety of uh, khaki drill and just the uh, the normal sort of sand drill uniform to give them a variation so on the trousers and on the uh, the shorts. So those are the uh, little teams, the pits and the mortars. So first unit is the unit that I'm using for the uh, Seaforth Highlanders. And you can see that they've got the, the bonnets on three of the troops. And then again, we've got the mix of long trousers and short sleeves. And then we've got the, uh, the shorts and uh, the other... Uh, a couple of uh, long sleeves. So again, a mixture of uh, the colours of the uh, denim khaki drill, I think, on there. So the uh, the sort of browner uniform on them. And then the more, as we see, the desert colour is the uh, the rest of the uniforms. So that was going to be the, uh, the sea force. Let's have a little wander around with that. All the sections are the same... Uh, layout. They've got the officer with a Thompson, the officer, the NCO with a Thompson submachine gun, and then there's the Bren carrier, what well, the Bren, Bren gunner, and the loader who's got the spare barrels on his back. So this is the uh, the sea fourth. the The main uniform was painted with dark sand, and then Ali's magic liquid, and then highlighted up with the base colour and a little bit of uh, off white in it. So that's the sea fourth Highlanders. Sorry about my, my voice. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. This next section was. Um modelled on one of the ones from the photographs where they've got the darker shirts and the lighter trousers and shorts. So uh, we've given them all the same colour shirt in this uniform, but then uh, the, the lighter trousers. So, yeah, not sure who these will be. Could be the uh, Loyal Edmontons. But it's been quite good fun painting them up. So let's see at the second unit. So third unit, and these will be the Hasty Peas, which is the Hastings and Princess, I think. Uh, regiment or battalion. These ones I've done in all the uh, the dark sand colour. Both the uh, shirts, both long sleeve and short sleeves, and the uh, shorts and the slacks. So I've got one more infantry unit of ten men to paint up. 
at least. But I might I might do five units of infantry. So yeah, I have enjoyed putting these together. And use just using the different two different boxes. And I've even brought in a third box now, which is the uh, US infantry box to do a couple of uh, others. So what else have we got uh, ready to be painted and ready to be sorted out? Let's have a look. We've got a bit of kit bashing for our mortar. We've got the metal mortar out of the uh, British 8th Army support box. But I've put together the three crew from kit bashing from the two boxes. And I think that's come out quite nice. Might have to do a little bit of work on that mortar bomb, make it a little bit rounded at the top. That shouldn't be too difficult, bit of green stuff. And then we've got a medic coming round on the left. Holding his medic bag, which I think has come from the uh, US infantry box. And then I've put another box, another bag on his chest. So he'll be the medic. So just building up the little, uh, the teams and headquarters units. A little bit of work on the Sherman. I read an account that they were talking about one of the uh, Canadian tanks that was in Sicily and it had the light stone colouring. It's a little bit yellower. I don't know if I can get it more. No. But it is it is yellower, the, the, the colour. Uh, but it had black wavy lines on the bottom of the uh, hull and black wavy lines on the bottom of the turret. So that's what I've done on this one. It's going to have to have a fair old bit of weathering, I think, to uh, make it look really dusty. And what I want to do is try and dry brush down so that the black is, uh, is covered in the dust. So that's the theory. So I've got to, got to get some decals. I do have some decal, um, print your own decal uh, film. I'm uh, going to have to try and uh, do that. So trying to get it up into the livery of the Three Rivers Regiment. But that's the, uh, the Sherman. Well, I hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, I've currently got another unit of 10 that I've made. I've got to give them a, an undercoat. And I've got the, uh, the mortar team and the medics still to, to finish off. So it's not so bad. A couple of things I might need to, to order in. Uh, a 25 pounder. Uh, I might get the quad and the limber. Uh, get that from Lost Ark Games. They've got one in. Uh, and also perhaps want to get a bishop uh, support self artillery, self self propelled artillery. Because um, the Devon Yeomanry backed up the first division regiments uh, quite frequently, and they had the bishop with the 25 pounder. Uh, also, I'd like to get a Italian truck. I haven't got an Italian truck. Surprisingly, uh, for all the Italian stuff that I have, um, get one of those because they they didn't have a lot of um, transport when they landed in in Sicily. They they didn't have the shipping capacity to get all the vehicles that they needed. So a lot of the Italians surrendered, and they were able to use their vehicles. So I want to get an Italian truck to give it a little bit of flavour. So yep, yeah, that's us on the pro on the programme for uh, the Canadians. Uh, in the pipeline, I've got the second scenario for our um, battles in Saipan, so with Colin. That's, uh, I've just got to get that one finished off, uh, and we'll, we'll run that. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I have got myself now a box of the Italians, so we'll probably do an unboxing of that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll put out another update once I get some more bits and pieces finished off of it. So, in the meantime, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. In the chat, please uh, comment on anything that you see. I always like to, uh, to reply. So, take care, and uh, see you next time.